Today I'm going to be showing you one of the coolest tricks in all of Scarlet and Violet, and that is how you can change your Pokemon's Terra type. So if your Pikachu terrestrializes into a flying type and you want to have it terrestrialize into a water type, after today's video, that is what you're going to be able to do. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. How's it going everybody? Blaine here for Bridge 4 Games. I hope all of you are enjoying your Scarlet and Violet playthroughs, and I was very excited when I found this in my playthrough. It turns out in the game you are able to change your Pokemon's Terra type. Now as we all know, Pokemon Terra types are pretty much randomly assigned when you catch your Pokemon. They can be any of their base types or any ones that are different, like I have a Garchomp in the game that can terrestrialize into water. So any of those combinations are possible, but a lot of people were worried you wouldn't be able to actually change that typing, and you'd kind of be stuck with it however it is. Well, it turns out you're able to actually go ahead and change it to any of the types in the entire game. And honestly, it's really, really easy to do. So I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do it. I'm going to show you exactly how to make your Pokemon into whatever Terra type you want. But before I do, I just want to take a second to ask if you like the videos we have here on the channel. Please make sure that you actually like them by hitting that thumbs up button. And of course, consider subscribing because again, it really does help us out. And you'll make sure you never miss any of our awesome videos just like this one. All right, so that being said, let's go ahead into Scarlet and Violet and start changing our types. All right, now before we get started, I just want to let you know there is going to be a light spoiler warning here just because we are going to be touching on some elements that are kind of adjacent to the story. Now, we're not going to be obviously giving away any like major storyline details, but the area we have to go to to actually change our Pokemon's Terra type is right next to a challenge you have to do in the story. So, you know, it is going to be kind of lightly spoiling that. But that being said, you're going to want to go into Medley City. Now, where we are right now, uh, it's right here. It's actually where you're going to be facing one of your gym leaders, who is the normal type gym leader, Larry. Now, what you're going to want to do when you go ahead and zoom out, if you look at the uh, Great Crater of Paldea, it's up here on the sort of uh, left upside. I guess you would say that's kind of like the northwest side. And if we zoom out a little further, uh, right here near number four, that's where that's going to be located. All right, now, once you arrive in Medley City, you're going to want to make sure you come to this building here. Now, if we consult the map, it is near the easternmost uh, Pokemon Center. As you can see, it says Medley East, and you need to find this building, but it stands out. It's not really in a line with any other buildings. It's kind of off on its own, and it has these big, like, Pokeball lanterns outside, and most importantly, it has this guy in the uh, red jacket desperately trying to get people to come in, but I don't think he has to worry about that because one of the features they have is really awesome. So in order to change your Pokemon's type, once you go in there, again, the first time you come in here, you're going to have some gym stuff you have to deal with, once that's all done, all you have to do is go ahead and go back to the uh, kind of sushi bar area here. And as you can see, he says, do you want to change your Pokemon's Terra type? And we're going to do that. Now, in order to do that, you are going to need something called Terra Shards. They are kind of like mini Terra Crystals that you're going to pick up throughout the region. Now, if we do look in our menu here, if we look into my bag, we do see that I actually have several of them. I have normal water, electric, grass, and ground. Now, these are all from raids I did, and raids are going to be a great source of getting these. If you have the sort of three-star or higher raids when you knock out the Pokemon or catch it, you are going to most likely have drops that include like some experience candy and Terra Shards like these. Now, as I mentioned, you can also find them all over the game, just kind of on the ground like any other hidden item. But obviously that takes kind of a longer time and you may not be able to get them that quickly. So I do recommend getting these through raids. But as you can see, I actually have 50 normal Terra Shards right here. And that is actually from the first time you go in here, they actually just give you 50 normal Terra Shards just for kind of uh, learning how the process works. So we're going to go ahead and change my, uh, let's see. I have my Tyranitar here, and he is, I believe he has the Rock type uh, Terra. And what I'm going to go ahead and do, yeah, it's his Terra type Rock. I'm going to go ahead and change him into a normal Terra type, just to show you guys how this works. So let's say I'm going to talk to him. He says, brought me some Terra shards so I can whip up a Terra type changing dish. And I'm going to say, I brought normal type Terra shards. All the ones are going to come up there on the list. You have to scroll down if you do have, you know, plenty that are all 50. But yeah, once you have your 50 shards of each type, you are going to be able to change that type. So he says, which Pokemon are you looking to feed this to? And I'm going to feed it to my Tyranitar. And he says, you want to change this Terra type to normal? Yes, I do. I want to make sure my viewers fully understand how this works. So this is whole type then. One life-changingly delicious dish coming right up. All right. And we have a cutaway. And there we go. Apparently his type is now Terra. And it says, if you ever want to make a more another switch, bring Terra Shards. So all we have to do, as you can see, we're going to open up our summary on our Tyranitar. And now it is normal Terra typing. And now just to show you guys that it does actually work, I'm going to go ahead and get into a battle with our uh, Fido evolution here. And as you guys are going to be able to see, we have my Tyranitar here. We're going to kick up our Sandstream. And then what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to go ahead and Terra 
Uh, and I'm gonna, I don't have any normal moves, so this wasn't a, uh, strategically, this may not have been the best, but for making video content for you guys, it was definitely worth it. And I'm gonna Stone Edge. So as we see, it was Rock before. Now I'm gonna go ahead and Terra my Tyranitar. Uh, you are gonna see it is going to be a normal type instead. And there we go. I went to Jared. I have a, gi I have a giant diamond on my head. So there we go. And as you can see, I shouldn't have any trouble taking out this little doggo. Uh, I... Oh, he baby doll eyes me. Okay. All right. Well, I am going to stone edge him. All right, cool. We still got him. We got a crit. Everything worked out well. So that is how you're going to be able to change your Pokemon's Terra type in literally almost no time at all, providing you have those crystals. So again, what you want to do, go ahead, run around the region, collect any crystals you may find. And of course, remember to also go ahead and do those raids. Those are going to be very, very important in this game. And you'll be able to get your Terra shards and change your typing however you want. All right, so there you have it, everybody. That's how you can go ahead and change your Pokemon's Terra typing in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And you know what? This is really, really useful. It's not only great for playthroughs, it's also great for competitive. And honestly, it just gives you a lot of flexibility when team building because it can take away a weakness. It can make your Pokemon have different coverage that it couldn't have before. It's just very useful. And that's why it's such an awesome tool on teams because it gives you access to typings and resistances that you maybe never had before. And being able to change your Terra type to anything is just frankly awesome. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video, but most importantly, I hope you found it helpful and you're able to use it to make your terror typings whatever you want. And if you did find the video helpful, of course, please make sure that you giga impact that like button in the face. And of course, consider subscribing because again, it really does help us out. And you'll make sure that you never miss any of our awesome videos just like this one. That being said, everybody, I've been Blaine for Bridge 4 Games. Thank you so much for stopping by and hanging out with me. Remember that the best Pokemon games are the ones that you love to play and the proper ways to play them are how you have the most fun. I hope every one of you are having an awesome time in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. And most importantly, I hope each and every one of you have a happy, epic, awesome, and amazing day. And I will see you in the next video. See you around. Bye-bye.